Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I have a treat for you today because the nice folks at Phantom Seafood in Tacoma, Washington sent me a couple of live Dungeness crabs. They like my YouTube channel and they said, Harry, you don't cook crab very often. Why don't we send you a couple of crabs and see what you can do with it. So today I'm going to do a fire roasted Dungeness chili crab. The uh, Phantom folks uh, deliver their crab to all 50 states, including overseas. They even ship to the Middle East uh, into the desert. And, uh, you know, what I would like to do is say that they support uh, 50 fishermen and vessels, and they ship about one and a half million pounds of crab a year. So they are really, really big. And I wanted to share with you guys the promo code they gave me. So if you go to their website and you type in Phantom 10, F-A-T-H-O-M 10, one word, they'll give you 10% off your first purchase. most humane way to dispatch of live seafood or crab is to go ahead and pop it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and uh, that eventually puts them to sleep and we can go ahead and prep the Dungeness live crab salad. Kill the crab instantaneously by putting a spike right in the middle here and that dispatches them in a humane manner. So you freeze them first and for 20 minutes and then you dispatch them, kill them instantly by driving a knife right into the middle here. So bring the veins, pull the shell apart. Remove the gills, rinse it out. We're ready to prepare the crab and I'll show you how my preparation in place looks like on mince blah. We have the crab nicely clean here. I have a optional item that you can use. I'm going to get some uh, of this chopped duck egg, which is a cooked salted duck egg with a red yolk. And you can find this in the Asian market. If you can't find this, don't worry about it. You can just go ahead and coat your crab with some garlic and some oil. It works just as well, but for extra special Singapore style chili crab, this is kind of my secret ingredient. Chop up some of this uh, yolk of the egg that is already pre-salted and ready to go from an Asian store. We're gonna smear the crab with it and give it an extra special flavor. Here are my aromatics. I'm gonna grill these uh, tomato and chili, onions and garlic. We're gonna grill it in the pit so that we can have a pit roasted Dungeness crab. And then the sauce is a kind of a ketchupy barbecue sauce that is uh, kind of uh, emulsified with a little bit of uh, egg at the end and a little bit of uh, cornstarch slurry. This yellow part on the inside of the crab shell is known as the crab butter. Some people like to eat it, some people don't. I like to eat it, so what I like to do is I scoop it up and I put it into my little mixture here and I mix it with my chopped salted duck egg. However, it's pretty hot now. It feels about uh, 350. I'll go ahead and uh, pit roast the crab here. Just set it in there. I'm going to try to get it to about 135 degrees on the internal of the crab so we don't want to overcook the crab. You want to also spray a little bit of, uh, I can't believe it's not butter, as you cook it. After about 20 minutes, the uh, crab is uh, at about 120 degrees. You don't want to overcook it because we're going to grill it now. Some of that uh, egg on it. Let's go ahead and uh, cook the char some ginger and some garlic cloves here. Let's get some chili, some tomatoes, and char some onions. Okay, chili are done, take it off. This tomato is done. 
heating up our cast iron pan and uh, it's about uh, about 500 degrees we're ready to go a little bit of oil and the aromatics that we grilled earlier half a cup of sugar and some vinegar Three quarter cup of ketchup. Add a little bit of salt to the Slap Your Daddy barbecue rub. It's all purpose. I like spicy, so I'm gonna add some sriracha, as much or as little as you like. A little bit of uh, chicken stock. Give it a taste. Spicy and good. All right, we're gonna thicken it up with some cornstarch slurry. Give it a stir. We wanna taste and adjust seasonings. Just need a little bit more salt. I'm gonna add a little bit of my barbecue rub. It's a tad here. And we're gonna add uh, two beaten eggs here. Stir it in at the end. Get a kind of rich, nice, creamy, eggy sauce here. And that's the signature Singapore style chili crab sauce. Not that hard to make. Just vinegar, sugar, ketchup as the base. And then you add a few other aromatics to it. The thing we add is some green onions. Stir it in and we're ready to go. Spooning the uh, chili crab sauce. Smothering the crab here. That's the best part. You want to soak it up with some steamed rice or just some toasted bread. It's absolutely amazing. Here's your food blogger trip. So I ran a food blog for 10 years on SlapDaddyBBQ.com. The way you want to get a nice coating is you put a little bit of oil on your crab shell. That way it looks absolutely gorgeous in pictures. Put one here. Clean the plate. crab do you guys a quick demo here so you have the crab you have the legs so you break off the claw so you suck on the juices here and all the meat take a crab cracker like so crack it Dip the meat out, dip it in the sauce. It's absolutely amazing. Super delicious. That tanginess of that ketchup based vinegar sauce is really fantastic. Crab is super fresh. This was alive when I cooked it. So I'll show you guys how to eat the legs. You break off the leg. So you take your tool and you run it into the shell. Just crack it like so. Run it to the end, spit open the crab. So that's how you get the meat out. Get some sauce on it. And that's a fantastic bite right here. Absolutely sweet, juicy, delicious, the taste of the ocean. If you never had Dungeness crab, go to Phantom Seafood and order it from them. Have it shipped live to your home. Show you guys how to make it it's really a simple recipe. Not that hard to do, you can cook it on a stove. You can cook it in your pit. But let's now see if uh, I can see Mr. Beans wants to try crab. All right, I do not know if dog can eat crab, but I'm going to give him a small piece and let him try. Okay, I have a few morsels of crab for Mr. Beans. Uh, I'm not sure he can eat crab, but I'm going to let him have, have a, just a small piece here. Hopefully, he'll be okay. All right, Beans. No brisket today and no ribs, but we have something from the ocean from Washington State. So we got some crab here. Hope you like crab beans. All right, beans, go ahead, try some crab. Ooh, he's wolfing down the Dungeness crab. Seems to like it. 
All right, brisket dog now, crab dog too. Ooh, he's licking it up, so he looks like he likes it. Hopefully, cause it doesn't cause you any problem, Beans. Thanks yeah. for stopping by, watching this episode. I want to thank my patrons for helping me keep the lights on. If you see value in my channel, you want to sponsor my work, you can go ahead and go to patreon.com, Harry Sue, and I check out all the different tiers I have, offering you behind the scenes, these free Zoom classes, and much, much more.